with. He doesn't have the economy anymore. He's had two expansions destroyed and he's fallen completely behind in income. Even though Rake is only on one base because he's mined out on his main, Elwaz had both his natural and his expansion taken offline and just this shrapnel in his base that he's mining here is his only source of income. So this is a really bad situation for Elwaz. He does have a little bit of mineral stockpile, but I'm not sure what he's uh, going to do. He does need to bring on more Corruptors, but he also needs to bring on more <laughs> Roach Hydras to deal with these ground units. So this is a terrible situation for Elwa. I can't believe there's nine Colossi. I just can't believe he's got nine Colossi with only a handful of Stalkers to support them. Only 12 Stalkers. So really, he really likes these Colossi, but these Corruptors, if they can get in the right position... If these stalkers get taken out cheaply, this could be really, really bad. But we'll have to see how it works out. These corruptors are going to start focusing down these col colossi. Have to be very careful not to get focused down by these stalkers in the way. So I have to see how this cat and mouse game plays out. Yeah, this has been this observer for Rake has just been the the best <laughs> best investment he's ever made. It's in allowing these colossi to just use and abuse this cliff so well, which is basically negating any kind of damage that these roaches and hydras are basically able to do once again up and down on the cliff barbecuing a bunch of drones forcing the, the, ro the roach hydras to be completely meaningless ultralisks finally coming into it but they're zero 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 ultralisks they will do quite a lot of damage to this colossi if they can close with them but not unupgraded they're going to take so much damage especially considering they're against one 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 and the biggest thing about that is most players will just go for the attack and the armor but Rake's also got shields online which gives them that a little bit extra uh, ability to absorb damage which is just so so powerful and now we're seeing Elwa try and close sick of being abused on the cliff so many laser beams exploding in these lines here this <laughs> ultra being barbecued before it can even close stalkers pulling back trying to work on these <laughs> colossi but there's just so many corruptors <laughs> And unfortunately for Elwa, the rest of his forces are being fried, so even though he is able to take out a heap of these Colossi, six Colossi going down, only three left, he has nothing else other than these Corruptors, and they're basically forcing Rake to attack with them, and he has nothing to stop with them. They're going to have a field down these drones, and there's still a bunch of Stalkers. No Blink, though, so they can't get up the cliff, but they're finishing off these Corruptors. Hydras, sorry, Roach is coming online, but unfortunately all the Corruptors are down now, so this is a terrible situation for Elwa. Producing another Ultra, which hasn't really been effective, even bringing on drones in a last desperate stand to try and uh, win it back there, but he does call GG, so that's <laughs> unfortunately it. I really feel that Elwa lost it when he delayed and delayed getting that uh, Spire out, especially when he saw that there were two robotics facilities, and I just can't believe how many Colossi Rake <laughs> produced and how effectively he used them. Yeah, he's going to regret going roaches instead of that sp uh, spine. Yeah, that's uh, spire, sorry. Yeah, he's you really... get them eventually. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, you, you build them from spine crawlers. That's what you build. Definitely. <laughs> Maybe that's what he was trying. It's like, why is my <laughs> corruptor not coming out of this spine crawler? It doesn't make yeah. any sense. He really needed counter to, to those colossi, but oh, he didn't do it. And those colossi did re wreck, and it really wasn't enough in the end. So good play by Rake. He is back in it for at least another game. Yeah, Rake is uh, now we're 2-1 in this best of five, so Rake's staying alive. Here we go to game four.